Hey, just wanted to give you a quick look at the, the area for this Vera house. So this is a, a really quiet little side street, but most of the houses here are older. Um, there's a little bit of infill, kind of varying degrees of of uh, the places being kept. Some of them are, are nicer than the others. Um, right across the way over here, as you probably saw on the map, is Milwaukee, which is kind of a busy street. Uh, and Capitol High School is right there too, which is one of the, a bigger high school. But there's a lot of open space right across the street, which might be nice. Um, but most of these houses are 1970s builds, uh, probably mostly rentals. There's a lot of duplexes on this street. A little bit of infill, you can see this place was probably built in the, the mid 90s would be my guess, but it's a, a duplex. Um, and then the street kind of turns over here, um, but the house in question is this one right here. And there's, this is the shared drive that's mentioned in the, the listing. So there, there's some sort of easement agreement with the house behind. Um, there are some bigger lots here, so I assume this was split probably 20 years ago and this house was built in the back. But the backyard butts right up to the front of the, this other house and then um, this this is the house in question here this landscaping's a little bit overgrown but anyhow that is it um, one thing I can see just from the front that I don't love is it's cinder block construction which can make adding on or doing certain improvements a little bit more difficult um, but yeah I mean I, w I would say that this neighborhood is always going to be uh, kind of a rental neighborhood. It's never going to be the next up and coming area, but if the numbers work for you, then they work. So anyhow, let me know what other questions you have.